general background to the herd, I suppose, this, this uh, herd was established back in 2015. Um, it's a, it's a, Post uh, so they were all first lactation animals back in 2015, originally 200 cows, and they're um, basically mostly crossbreeds, cross between Jersey and um, Frisian, and with some Rathbuns and Swiss Brown mixed through. So it's, it's basically a crossbreed herd, basically, and that's the way we're continuing with Jersey Frisian cross. So um, the mature cows are under fourth lactation now this year. Uh, I suppose the, the, the reason we looked at uh, Herd Insights was, was um, basically a, on a labour point of view. Um, we have a 24 point recompiler and uh, I found, I always hated mating time, I always found it a stressful time of the year. I love calving time but I hate mating time because it's, you're dealing with unknowns all the time. And uh, you're always wondering is she bullying, when was she bullying and, and uh, you just, there's no certainties. So, plus we had, we had to have a second good milker in the milk impaler uh, for, the, for the mating season um, because I would spend a lot of time out checking cows for, for bulling and, and, um, and um, making sure and picking up all the cows. So, so um, that second person, that good milker was getting harder and harder to find and plus expensive. So, um, we, we tried to find a, a better alternative to it and uh, so that's, that's basically why we looked at the, the collars basically. Um, plus the, the, the health, um, picking up the sick cows is also a big plus, but, uh, really down to cutting down labour and getting more efficiencies uh, and taking the unknowns out of the mating. Now we see, we look at her chart and you can see exactly when she was bulling, how long she was bulling for, or if she was bulling at all, so you're not dealing with unknowns anymore. There's more certainty in it. Uh, we purchased the collars around Christmas time and um, I suppose one of the mistakes I made when we put them on was we didn't actually uh, confirm the heats as the cows were bulling in the springtime. That didn't give us as good a history as we probably could have had um, to start mating on the 7th of May and um, we were up and running quite well. We linked it in with the automatic drafting um, and the mission parlor. So basically um, as the cows came bulling the, the, the collars linked into the system and, and into the gate and the cows were drafted automatically as they went through the parlour. So at the end of milking, the, the, all the cows for mating were standing in the, in the drafted yard. It worked very well. I used to, I didn't trust it at the start. Um, again, I wasn't dependent, going to put the future of the herd on, on, on something new. So I still tail painted and I still done the observations um, every morning and every evening as the cows were being milked. Cows would walk past me in the parlour and I wouldn't pick them up and next minute you'd hear the gate draft and then you'd look around and it would have drafted a cow and uh, you'd look at, the, look at the chart and it would tell you that she was bulling and uh, you mightn't believe it or not but you'd serve her and that evening she'd come in and she'd be mad bulling. So it was, just, it was always a step ahead of us basically in, in, in identifying uh, cows for, um, for mating. Um, so as the, as the weeks, by week two, I'd say at the end of week two, I had full confidence in it um, and we depended on it nearly 100%. Um, so I stopped, I didn't stop tail painting at that stage, like uh, I just got the cows one round of tail paint and uh, we stopped using it then after the second week, basically we, we, we had confidence in, in the collars that they were, they were actually working. And in terms of submission rates, I suppose it's hard to call one year over another, this year was was an ideal year for mating cows. But we'd normally get in around a 90% submission race in the three in the first three weeks, and this year we got 93% submission race in the first three weeks. So, um, so it had to. It, it definitely helped in terms of picking up cows and, and identifying cows. And there was no this year was there was no stress in mating this year. It just wasn't as stressed out basically trying to identify cows. It was, it was more certainty. So. All in all, um, there, was enough, there was enough stress factors this year that took one of them out of it. So. Uh, the health benefits, um, it will pick up most cows um, uh, and alert you that there's a health issue. Now, a good stockman is not going to be a good stockman. And a good stockman knows his cows, or a good stock woman, as I have, knows her cows. She's ahead of the system. But, but for, for most farms, it will actually identify um, your sick cow before you'll identify it yourself. It is ahead of the posse, so um, it'll pick up your your sick cow much earlier than before she's actually a sick cow. Mostly, you pick up cows that are not ruminating. Cows that seem to have picked up a foreign body, and they stop they stop eating, stop ruminating, and it picks up those. It's quite good at picking up those. 
um, fix them up very quick. And uh, we've had a couple of cases like that, like just cows that stop ruminating. And we've put it down to foreign bodies, put in a magnet, and uh, the cows make a recovery. So a change in habit, really. So definitely a plus on it. Like you, you'll identify your identify your, your sick cow earlier, hence just treated earlier, and, 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 and less uh, less less veterinary costs, really. The customer service has been very good, uh, basically. Any time I rang the phone, it was answered and uh, the issues were dealt with. So <clears throat> it is all said on the tin, it works. So. But the biggest benefits of having the system on, basically, is that overall your empty rate should be less because you, you, you're, you're um, actually identifying the cows, the har, the har bullying. Um, there's less work, you can go away and you're not dependent on being on the farm 24-7 looking at the cows for mating. You can depend on the system to, to do, do what it's supposed to do, so you're not really tied to the farm as we used to be for, for the, the, especially the first six weeks of mating, watching, watching, watching. You don't have to do that anymore. So you're more relaxed around mating time and, and uh, it, 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 it basically identifies the bullers and, and, pull, and the, the drafting gate then drafts them out. So it, it, it takes the, the work and the labour out of the mating season basically. I was going calf or not then, that's another day's work, but at least you, you get them inseminated. So it, solves, it, it helps in that, in that part of the whole equation. Mm -hmm.